Well, today is the big day, June 20th, 2023. We got the big news and the big reveal of Utopia of the Seas. She's a lot different than you may think. So let's dive in, take a look at all these changes. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Brandon. If you like cruise news, cruise vlogs, and ship tours, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. Just to remind you, we are still working on our Wonder of the Seas cruise vlog series, so if you want to see her sister ship, Wonder of the Seas, we have plenty of content here for you guys to check out as well. Anyways, let's jump right in. Visually, Utopia and Wonder are very similar, just like each pair of Oasis-class ships, they're always pretty much identical. Oasis and Allure, other than just a few little tiny things that are barely noticeable, they're identical. Harmony and Symphony look identical other than the back of the ship. Wonder of the Seas, of course, had her complete redesign, basically, of the entire Oasis class. And Utopia is set to look very similar to her as well. But there are some visual changes, but they're very, very minor. The biggest changes that are made on Utopia of the Seas are basically on the inside of the ship, or the internals, the restaurants, bars, state rooms activities, things like that. So visually, you're not going to find too many differences between these two ships, Wonder of the Seas and Utopia of the Seas. We'll go ahead and start with the visual differences. That way we can go ahead and get that out of the way. Other than that, it will all be pretty much internally and going to be identical to each of these ships. So debuting on Utopia of the Seas, we have the Solarium Suites. There are two suites on each of the bridge wings of Utopia of the Sea, so right above the bridge. They don't show any upfront footage or renderings of the ship, so we don't necessarily know what it looks like. But I did see, if you look way far in and zoom in, not sure how good the photo looks being this far zoomed in, but you can kind of see a top-down view of it and how it looks. So with the solarium, you kind of have that big bubble look to it, especially on Wonder. It's like a giant bubble. Well, that bubble like look to it extends over the bridge wings now to cover those suites. These seem to just be Ocean View staterooms, though. Well, not necessarily an Ocean View stateroom, but they will be technically an Ocean View, but the solarium suite. So there won't be like a balcony or anything like that from what we can see here, but of course, it'll be pretty much floor-to-ceiling windows all the way around, wrapping all the way around the bridge wing. So it's still very, very cool and incredible views that you're going to have from these staterooms or from these suites. But so that's basically the biggest visual difference where we see on Wonder of the Seas, just the normal bridge right there. On Utopia of the Seas, we're basically going to see one more row of windows right above that. And I'm assuming it's going to pretty much connect almost to like that row of glass that's right at the front of the solarium as well. So hopefully in the front facing renderings of it, it looks pretty good. I know that's a concept that they tried on Oasis of the Seas during her big 2019 dry dock that they did. Not the biggest fan of that. It's definitely grown on me over the years, but it's not my favorite design in the world. I think Carnival's Conquest class ships kind of did that the best. It's the same concept almost. But I think Carnival may have done it a little bit better. It just looks a little bit cleaner. In my opinion, at least. I, let me know in the comments down below if you like the Oasis redesign with the suites up there. I think it just looks a little awkward to me. So that's pretty much the biggest difference on Utopia of the Seas visually that you're going to notice when you're not standing on the ship itself. It's going to be those row of glass that are above the bridge that you don't see on Wonder of the Seas. That's going to be the biggest visual difference between the two ships. So jumping on to things that we're not going to see if we're not standing on board the ship. This one you may be able to see just a little bit on the outside, but the Ultimate Abyss, it's actually 43 feet longer. I love that they made this longer because it sounds like Royal Caribbean may have been a little bit salty towards MSC. MSC's world-class ships do have something very similar. It's a single dry slide that goes down to the boardwalk area. On MSC World Europa and World America and all the other ones that are coming up, there's a dry slide called Venom, I believe it is. It's a single dry slide. It 
is technically just a little bit longer than the Ultimate Abyss that we see on the Oasis class ships. So here on Utopia of the Seas, we have made it 43 feet longer to pretty much say, hey, we see you MSC, we're taking the record back though. We're having the longest dry slide at sea here on board Utopia of the Seas. The cool thing is that we now have a clear section in this Ultimate Abyss so as you're going down in one of the quicker parts of it, or one of the beginning parts of the Ultimate Abyss, you're actually going to be in a clear tube area where on all the other ships, it's pretty much that purpley pink color, very dark on the inside, and it goes all the way down just like that. There's no thing where you can kind of look down or anything like that. So this would be a really cool change. And one thing I did notice as well as we zoom in here about halfway through, there's a part that looks like it's sticking out and it just like ends, but it also curves at the same time. It like splits almost. In that section, there's like a clear tube, basically, like we have just a little bit further up. It's a clear section where it's going to almost trick your mind into thinking that you're going to go straight and you're going to get dumped out a couple decks above the boardwalk and it's going to you know, play games with your mind and make you think like you're about to start falling. But there's that little clear barrier, basically, or that clear piece of tubing that's going to shoot you off towards the side and you're just going to continue down as normal like you normally would on a, a slide. So it's just like a little bit of a mind trick, basically, that they were doing with this, which I really like. I think that's pretty cool. Skipping over to the pool deck on board, a little bit of a change, actually a pretty significant change, really between Wonder of the Seas and Utopia of the Seas, one of the biggest changes is honestly one of my favorite things about Wonder of the Seas was that they had stadium seating kind of right in the middle, and it was facing the TV screen that they had there to play movies, which is really nice, of course, because you get nice views and things like that for your TV or to watch your movies at night whenever they're playing. But they seem to have taken that out on Utopia, which I'm kind of bummed about. But they have replaced it with lime and coconut. Lime and coconut is found on Wonder of the Seas. They're very small bars kind of built into the side of the deck space there. So it's not like it's a bar that we don't see on Wonder of the Seas. It's just significantly larger, kind of like it will end up being on Icon of the Seas. Icon of the Seas, lime and... On Icon of the Seas, lime and coconut is huge. It's a very large bar. And so I think they're kind of taking more inspiration from that. So pretty much they're wiping out the stadium seating that we find on Wonder of the Seas and replacing it with a whole new bar area for Lime and Coconut. Looks like we got some little chairs to hang out in, like the little clamshell chairs, things like that to sit around and relax as well. So instead of just being a bar, it's now an area in itself. And there's even an upper level to it too. So I'm sure it'll be lime at the bottom, coconut at the top, or vice versa. But now, instead of just the tiny little bar off to the side on each deck, um, because it is similar, it's one's on the top deck, one's on 16. So it's a similar concept, they're just making it a lot bigger. You know, instead of just being a bar, now it's a whole area in itself, which is really cool. So there's even the large seating area at the top level of lime and coconut which is going to be really really cool sticking up by the pool we now have a whole new concept here that we're really seeing for the first time here on utopia of the seas sprinkles ice cream is going to be larger than ever so basically the little machines where you get the ice cream from is going to be a lot more of them a lot bigger of an area and there's also going to be like a food truck concept too here on the, by the pool side which is cool I wasn't able to find exactly what it is that's going to be served at this little food truck area, but of course it'll probably be a buffet style food, just additional dining and lunch options most likely. And of course Sprinkles is now an entire bar, so maybe we'll be able to put some toppings on our ice cream, things like that. Kind of seems like what we see here off to the side in the background um, with the big tubes with the people standing there seems to be what it is. And of course, now that we're on the topic of food, one of the major changes in Utopia of the Seas, again, again, just internally, because we won't be able to see this visually from standing out on shore, 
This is Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, which I personally loved on Wonder. It was very, very good. But it's an all-new location now. Instead of Wonderland, Wonderland is completely gone. Wonderland is not going to be on Utopia of the Seas. I know some people really like that restaurant. I've never tried it, and it doesn't really seem very appetizing to me. The food seems a little on the adventurous side. But I hear a lot of good things about Wonderland. But on Wonderland, it is not... But on Utopia of the Seas, Wonderland will not exist like it does on all the other Oasis class ships and some of the other ships as well in the fleet. Giovanni's Italian Kitchen is going to be moving from Central Park over to that area where we have that large two-story uh, restaurant facing the boardwalk and overlooking the boardwalk, which is really cool. And there's even a new terrace area outside, which basically is going to open up and be an outdoor seating area that overlooks the boardwalk for Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. So unlike Wonderland, where it was completely on the inside, but now here on Utopia of the Seas with Giovanni's, there's going to be an outdoor seating area that also overlooks. So not only do you get to look out the window if you're on the inside, you can also have the choice of having an outdoor seat as well or an outdoor table that overlooks the boardwalk. So that's a really neat concept, and I really like that. Well, replacing Giovanni's is going to be Izumi, which is currently on deck four on all of the other Oasis class ships. It'll be moving from deck four into the boardwalk. Nope. It'll be moving from deck four all the way over to Central Park, taking the area or the space that is currently Giovanni's. So that'll be a really neat change. And there's even going to be a new window concept where you can get some fresh sushi Things like that, you just kind of walk up to the window and you get your food there rather than going in, dining in, things like that, sitting at a table. So it gives it a little bit more of a quick service aspect of it as well. Not only is it a dining experience that you can book and get reservations for, but now you also have a quick service type of restaurant as well, which is really neat. And then, of course, transitioning now into a whole new experience taking the place of it where Izumi currently is on Wonder of the Seas and all the other Oasis class. Taking that place on deck four is going to be a whole new train, immersive train dining experience where basically it's going to make you feel like you're inside of a train or a train car and you're going through, you know, different terrains, you know, through snow, through the hills, things like that. Just traveling by train and Seems really interesting, and that's going to be your dining experience. Basically, you're just going to sit, have dinner, have your meal, while it looks like your waiters and your servers are all coming out, you know, delivering a meal as if you were riding on a train. And then, of course, last up on our list, we have the Bionic Bar is another thing that is being axed on Utopia of the Seas. Bionic Bar will not be on Utopia of the Seas like it is on all of the other Oasis-class ships and even the Quantum class. Taking the Bionic Bar's place, we have the Pesky Parrot, which is a new bar that we don't see on any other ships in the fleet. When I first saw the rendering or this photo here that we're looking at, I more thought of like the Bamboo Room that we see on Mariner of the Sea, so it's likely the same type of vibe, which is going to be really cool. Just a little bit of a tropical bar type vibe down on the Royal Promenade, so that'd be really neat. So if you've never done the Bionic Bar on other ships, I definitely recommend it. Do it at least once. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to be making its way over to Utopia of the Seas. But we will be getting this new tropical-themed bar, the Pesky Parrot. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Very deep dive into some of the changes that we have here on Utopia of the Seas. Bookings do open up for Utopia of the Seas this Friday, June 23rd, 2023. So if you're watching after then... You can go ahead and go to Royal Caribbean's website and book the cruise if you'd like to or book Utopia of the Seas for your three and four night Port Canaveral weekend cruises. I'm so excited that this ship is coming to Port Canaveral, let alone on a three and four night sailings. So excited for it. If you guys know me and you've been following along the last two to three years, I love the weekend cruises. You use less vacation days, especially if you're living kind of close to a port. These three-day cruises take up one, maybe two vacation days if you really wanted to. So I love doing these. So I'm so excited. Not only we're getting a brand new Oasis class in Port Canaveral, we're getting it on three and four night sailings. 
So I will definitely be on Utopia at some point next year, hopefully sooner rather than later, maybe sometime in the summer when she first comes around. Um, I believe her first sailing is sometime in July because that's when the Allura is leaving to go to Miami. But anyways, what are your thoughts on Utopia of the Seas down below? Do you like these new changes? Do you hate them? What's your thoughts? Anyways, my name is Brandon. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe down below to continue following along all of our Wonder of the Seas vlogs that we have coming out over the next couple of weeks. And of course, any updates that we have on Utopia, Icon, and any other new cruise ship coming in the industry, we'll definitely be covering it here on the channel. So hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.